This is Alec Jordan at Tokyo American Club with In Japan TV. Today I'm talking with Joe Hart, Global CEO of Dale Carnegie Training, about the role that artificial intelligence and machine learning can play in the workplace. Hi Joe, thanks for joining us. Hi Alec, nice to be here, thank you. So my first question is, what role are technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning playing in the fields of human resources and workplace productivity? Yeah, they're, they're playing an increasing role, Alec. Um, Sometimes there's a perception that AI is going to replace entire jobs. What we're seeing is that AR, AI is actually replacing um, certain aspects or functions and enabling HR people to focus on higher value activities. So, for example, we think about interviewing and how hard it is to find people. There's now software that's uh, AI machine learning based that will I mean, actually conduct more or less a first interview. So imagine having an interview with you know, that you would do on a computer or on an iPhone or whatnot, where you're just, you're talking to a system, it's evaluating your facial expressions, your eye contact, your tonation and so forth, it's scoring you mm -hmm. and ultimately, you know, leading to a decision as to whether they get to the next round or yet. So that's one example of where, where it comes into place. All right. What are the pros and cons of these technologies becoming more prevalent in the workplace? Yeah, so, so there are, are many pros and there, there are cons as well. I mean, from a pro standpoint, in terms of increasing productivity and really letting people, just imagine being able to take out some of the more mundane aspects of work to focus on some of the higher value aspects of work that, that only people can do, the strategic and creative and so forth. You know, the, the, the challenge, I guess, of this, um, you know, can be how these technologies are introduced in the workplace because is, as with any major change initiative, they can come with, with fear, with trust, and so forth. So any time a new system is being introduced, it's really got to be done with a, um, a plan around how to communicate uh, in an empathetic way, really to engage uh, people so that when it's introduced, it is you know, recognized as a positive and not necessarily viewed as something that's going to be a, um, you know, a threat to right. people. All right. What are some of the strategies that business leaders should use to keep employees engaged at workplaces that are becoming increasingly more automated? So there are a number of things, maybe three things I would say. I mean, the first thing is around um, communication. You know, so letting people know what's happening, why it's happening, what the benefits are going to be. Second thing would be around um, listening. So it's not just kind of that one-way communication. It would be also about understanding where people are, understanding what their concerns are, what their thoughts are, what the opportunities are. And maybe the third part of that is just really kind of observing what's happening on an ongoing basis. You know, so it does take time for people to get used to different approaches in the workplace. And just to be mindful of the fact that we're asking people to change the way that they work. Sure. What will be the soft skills that will be in demand in workplaces where artificial intelligence and machine learning are becoming more prevalent? Yeah, the, the skills that really are the most valuable are those that computers cannot today really uh, emulate or do, and things that are higher on the social intelligence, creative intelligence side, things like strategy, empathy, um, you know, really kind of that, that interactive management and working together of, of people and so forth. So, so it's almost a, an EQ versus a, an IQ. I mean, so in what ways can I become, you know, more effective, more broad-minded as it relates to you know, my attitude? How, it can, how can I influence people more effectively? Um, achieve better results and those types of things. All right. What do you think that the future holds for the use of artificial intelligence in the workplace down the line? So that's a big question, Alec. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, you know, there are predictions, and I've, I've looked in, and researched many of them. Um, and in, in the short term, I, I would envision that there will continue to be introduction of technologies that will enhance capabilities in the workplace. Not necessarily you know, um, the replacement, uh, we're talking about HR right now, of, of, of jobs, um, but more about I empowering and, and enabling people to be more effective. You know, over time, I mean, AI is developing, machine learning is developing at a, a pretty significant rate. So, so where that goes, I'm, I'm not, not sure, mm -hmm. but I would say certainly within the short term, it's really about how we work together with these systems and how we uh, leverage them as effectively as possible. All right. Is Dale Carnegie currently using artificial intelligence or machine learning in the workplace, and does it have plans to increase its use in the future? So we're, we're looking at different ways to leverage technology, potentially to integrate things into 
our training. So we're a global training company. We are delivering in 90 countries, uh, 30 languages and so forth. So, you know, are there things that we can do to take advantage of some of the advances in technology? We're testing, we've tested some things. Um, nothing specifically that I'd say that we are prepared to, to launch on a global basis, but certainly some things that we're testing. All right. Joe, thanks very much for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Alec.